Hello guys, I have an idea for a project. We're gonna make a cocoa bean farm. Yep, we're doing it. Let me just eat some pumpkin pie. All right, now, um, besides cookies and dye, cocoa beans are basically useless. But um, I want to make a farm for each let me rephrase that. I want to um, be able to get each of the dyes. And I'm going to do that by making farms that will be okay for each of them. So I already took the liberty of building an example. Oop. Anyways, I already took the liberty of building an example at the um, over here because, you know, there is space. I hope it's not nighttime. No, you stay. And it's almost night time, so I should probably hurry up. And it was this right here is what I was thinking. Um, quite straightforward on the wiring. Powers a piston below and a piston above. And yeah, that's. I may use a button as well with the D flip flop, but you push the button. Or you flip the lever, pistons move the jungle wood trees, and a water flow pushes the cocoa beans to where I'm currently standing. And then um, you flick it, and the jungle trees reappear, and you can replant. Okay, this is just a small scale version of the build. Uh, I'm probably going to have it. I don't know how I'm going to have it actually. Um, I should. It'd probably be a good idea to. Um, you know, uh, dig out a room <laughs> first. I don't know why I just said first in a very weird way. And anyways, um, I've been meaning to do some more st strip mining. Um, because I'm running a little low on some stuff. Like, I get plenty of iron. As you can see from right there, I almost got six stacks. And get plenty of gold. And that's just from digging out areas like that in the slime farm. Although, probably about two or three stacks of that iron is from caving. Going around lighting. Oh, there's some iron right there. Going around and lighting up all the caves. Now, I had a thought as to um, where I want to put this thing. I want to put it back here, probably put a little window right here so you can see the, the wiring behind the spider spawner. Oop, too far down. And right here, I was thinking about digging this area out and um, using this area to make the cocoa bean farm. Now it's just the room, I don't know how much room I'm going to need. So what I'm going to do, I would like to have, um, let me just get the cobblestone I just dug out. out. I'd like to have, um, it like that. Like, these torches are going to represent the cocoa beans. That's how I'd like to have it on three walls. And then, um, trying to think. Have it, have the floor one block lower than where the cocoa beans are going to be at. And when the pistons retract and pull these blocks up, hence harvesting the, pist the pistons, harvesting the pistons, okay, harvesting the cocoa beans. The water flow behind there is going to push him down, and instead of just on the floor, I'm going to have also have a piston down here, remove these blocks, and let them be on the way. Either that, or I was thinking about having um, gates right here that has a redstone signal, open the gates when, yeah. 
So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start digging this out. I'm go First I'm going to dig out the um, 5x5 room. And then I'm going to dig out the area for the, water, the pistons and yeah. So I will um, finish digging this out and I'll be right back. Because the cocoa beam is the cocoa beam. The cocoa bean farm is not the only thing I want to do today. So hopefully I can get this done with enough time to do the my second idea, which I'm not going to tell you until I get done with the cocoa bean farm. But um, yeah, um, I'll finish digging this out on a bear right back. Hello guys, I am back. Um, yeah, so I did dig out the room. Right here is actually wiring for the pumpkin farm so I can't go any further this way and here's how it, I have it wired up just I'll show you um, I could sync it up where they all move at once but I actually kinda like this cuz I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have the water flow coming from the top area where the water source blocks are going to be right here on the top pistons so it's it's I think it's going to be really neat yeah so I'm going to clean up my inventory apparently um, I'm gonna get some jungle wood And yeah, see how this is starting to come together. I'm going to have to probably blah 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 blah. I forgot what I was saying. Um, I'll keep some cobblestone on me. Let me just get rid of the stone bricks. Put these in there. Get rid of dirt. Get rid of wood. Try it think of what I want I think I'm going to um, do something different for the um, I'm going to use a lever but I'm not going to use a normal circuit I'm going to use a full on edge circuit uh, no I'm not actually because I'm just going to use the lever oh I thought I had more cocoa beans oh yeah that's from so let me just I don't have quite enough cocoa beans to do it all but do I have any jungle wood in here that I don't have uh, of course I do I just harvested like a full tree not too long ago all right so let's see why do I have a slime ball slime balls are supposed to go in there all right put the miscellaneous stuff in here Alright, what I need to do is, um, I need ice, the, what do I, now I need to figure out what I want to build it with. I'm going to use pumpkins for lighting. Hmm. Just trying to figure out what I want to use for the decorative what block I want to use to decorate it in. Huh. I'll think of that in after words, but um I'm going to um start putting this together and Yeah, I'll be right back. Alright guys, well I decided what I'm going to do for the decoration. Um that's the lighting for when it's open and then down here this is going to be underneath the floor uh, yeah so hold on not what I meant to do What I'm okay. Oh, no, 
what I'm going to do is this, that, and then not what I wanted. There we go. Now, this is what I planned on doing for that. Alright, yeah, that works fine. I, I like that. So let me just... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Hmm... Right here is fine. Alright, that's not how I intended to do it, but that'll work. There we go. Okay. Now, just trying to figure out what I want to do for this. I was thinking about doing that. Oh. Like, to be honest, I really don't care. Uh, I really don't care much if the pistons are exposed or not because if the pistons are exposed because you intend because you intend them to be, then it's cool. But if they're exposed because you're lazy, then that's not cool. All right. Now, um, I could. I could hide the pistons very easily by putting stairs right there and stairs right there. In fact, I think that's what I'm going to do for the top bit. Oh, that's convenient. Yeah, yeah, so I'll get some jungle wood stairs and I'll put that together and let's see how it looks. Hello guys, I'm back, um, and after a bit of frustration, I finally come up with something actually quite simple. Um, ignore that, that's for my spider spawner. Um, this is how it comes out. When I built it, I did not take in consideration for the corners, so it won't exactly take 25 cocoa beans to plant. It will take, um, 26, but that's out, but... It won't take 30, it'll take 26. Okay, I knew something else messed up in my head. So what I'll do is I will flip the lever. The walls will raise, which will harvest the cocoa beans. Water will push them down into a, a water flow. And there's ice underneath that water flow. And it pushes it to here. I'll show you real quick. Drop a stack of those there. And because the ice underneath the water goes pretty quick, you're not going to either jump down there and get it, or push the button, and, or, that's the button. Okay, pull the lever, and it brings the items up to me. I was messing around with having it right there, but, nah, I've messed around with having it where I was just stood right here, pushed the button, and water flow pushed it to me. But that was just annoying me, so I just went like this. And then 
can I pull this lever? There we go. And then it's a simple matter of putting them back on the trees. There we go. And in between episodes, I'll probably clean this up a little bit, but um, for right now, this will work. I don't know why that did that. Anyways, that's not the point. Now, this project is done. I'm tired of it for right now because it's giving me quite a bit of irritation. Um, so let me just. Let me just put these in here and. Okay. Next project. As I said earlier, I do want to. I did. Blah, blah, blah. There is a couple projects I wanted to do today. I want to do that, and I also want to make a vine farm. And um, I don't even know if I have any vines to be honest. So let's go get a vine, a couple of vines actually, so I can show you one of the reasons why I want it. A vine farm and the vine farm is actually going to go into this room we just all right now that that's over with I need to I can't remember what I need to do ah let's just grab sticks do I I need to go grab some string. Do I have string over here? Yes, I do. Need a crafting table, dummy. Uh, this one. All right. Now let's just. Okay. Now the reason why I did that, I'll show you, is because with the vines in front of one of these guys, you can place a button directly on a dispenser. Now, why is that? Oh, I actually needed that there again. Of course, I would find the. Of course. Anyways, um, so let me just. I forgot the. Anyways, um. I'll show you the purpose here. Okay. You can also place a torch there. So, with the help of some interesting redstone placement, of course. Now, if I um go like this. Uh, I think. Wait, wait, wait. There we go. So whenever I push a button, you can, um, watch this. See how it dispenses up a crap ton of times? 
Things like that is the reason why I want to make a vine garden. What? So, um, let me just get my head together and gather the materials that I want to use, and I will be right back. All right, um, I decided, I, I decided, I got everything I wanted to use gathered. Okay. This is how I plan on um, doing it. Um, oh, see, that's why I'm using Silk Touch. What I'm going to do is I'm taking all these blocks out and I'm replacing them with pumpkins. Because I want the um, blocks underneath the. Um, vines like the blocks behind the vines I wanted those to be um lit up like and these are like the indicator of which um vines you can harvest I guess and yeah so uh, like um one thing though I want some people to keep in mind is I'm not trying to make all the like a bunch of really cool super efficient farms I'm mainly just trying to have fun with minecraft still This vine farm is probably pretty stupid and doesn't really have a purpose besides amusement. But I like I like the idea of it. Um so Dang it. There we go. Fix that and then do the same over here. Dang it. Wait, nope. There we go. Alright, now I'm going to put buttons along here. Oh, dang it. Not where I wanted that. Dang it. Oh man, this is so difficult. And by difficult, I mean annoying. It's not difficult at all. Alright, let me just fix that. Wait for it. Bam. Alright, now I gotta place the vines. There we go. Let's just I don't want to do this. Anyways, um now any vines that's on a pumpkin and I oh 
Maybe I should have chose a different block because this is probably going to end up insta mining it. Because I'm going to um, put unbreaking and efficiency so it doesn't take. I don't know. That's not terribly long. But each harvest will give a, a full stack of vines. So there is that. that that's cool. Um, yeah, um, that's the second thing I wanted to do today. See, it was so quick that I didn't really even have to make many. I only made one jump cut, and that was just because I was getting jambled with my words and couldn't remember what I was trying to say. Shut up, villagers. Here, they're laughing at me. Oh, there is another thing I want to tell you guys. Um, right here. Tell you guys, show you guys. I made an adjustment to my slime farm. Before I go down there, I actually want to come up here and get a splash potion. That way, I'm putting my um, potion room to use. And instant damage. So, this is pretty cool. Oh. Didn't occur to me that probably hurt me too. And then, voila. Oh. 24. Alright. How this works is slimes cannot swim. So they can't. Oh, well, either, either way, they can't jump more than a block, anyways. And these things are a block and a half high. So, either way, even if they could swim, it's not necessary. But the slimes just keep them where I want them. Um, you can't see if I'm in here, but um, I've stuck. Oh, you can see it, but you still can't see it from in here because it's over there. Wait, nope. I've started working on the third layer over there, and I don't feel like messing around in there really. It's a pain in the neck. But um, yeah, I started to work on the third layer, and I do eventually want to get all four of these layers done. So. I can maximize the spawn rates even more. Um, I've been trying to think of ways to... Um, oh! My coca beans are grown already, but I haven't placed a spot for them in storage. Hint, hint, next episode may or may not have something to do with the storage room. But, um, I'm gonna check where I'm at on time. And if I have enough time, I'm going to sh show you my idea for next episode's um, storage room, and I'll be right back. So there isn't much time left, but enough for me to do my little outro and kind of give you a little sneak peek of the what I plan on doing for the storage room next episode. And um, I tell you what, I like the idea, Ooh, but watch this. You, you run backwards like a retard. It's really funny. You run straight when you go forward, but when you run backwards, you run sideways. Um, yeah, I I I amused myself like for that for like the last forty five seconds while I was trying to think of how to start the recording here. Um, anyways, yeah, for the next episode, I'm going to do a really cool storage system. So you will love it. Maybe you'll love this sneak peek enough to like the video like a cool person to show your support. But keep in mind, I don't require you to show your support. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Peace. P.S. That was the spoiler. Mm-hmm. Bye.